a ground rod or pipe shall be allowed to be installed at up to a blank degree angle if rock is encountered. And the correct answer is a 45 degree angle. Let's take a look at the paraphrase code language. The electrode must be installed so at least eight foot of its length is in contact with the earth. It should be driven to a minimum depth of eight feet. However, if rock is encountered, the electrode may be driven at an angle not to exceed 45 degrees from vertical. Alternatively, if rock is encountered at the angle up to 45 degrees, the electrode can be placed in a trench with a minimum depth of 30 inches. The top of the electrode should be at or below ground level unless the exposed end and the connection to the grounding electrode conductor are safeguarded from physical damage as outlined in 250.10. Let's take a visual look at what we're talking about here. Let's imagine we've driven our first ground rod on the left, and then to satisfy other parts of the code in this scenario, we're going to drive our second ground rod. And let's imagine that we hit rock. We're allowed to install that second or the first or second ground rod up to a 45 degree angle. Now, I don't know if this picture is depicting perfectly 45 degrees, but you can use your imagination. And then in the case that we still hit rock and we're not able to get it that eight feet, we're allowed to dig a trench 30 inches deep and lay the rod down in that trench. Now, this is where the end part of the code where it says that the rod should be at or below ground level, you might get two different interpretations from two different inspectors. One of them might say the trench needs to be 30 inches deep all the way across, lay the rod all the way down in it and cover it up. The other one might look at it and say, hey, I want you to still angle it where the top is going to be at or below ground level, but I want you to angle that rod so that connection is still accessible, the acorn clamp connection, maybe even just for inspection. That's up to you and your authority having jurisdiction on how they interpret that code. I would be okay with either one. I think we're gonna satisfy the true meaning of this, and that's to have a robust grounding electrode system. I am the electrical code coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.